Hey YouTube, it's Bobo the Vulture. Did you happen to see at the very beginning of this video whether or not we won the coin toss? It doesn't matter. We got what we wanted. We wanted to kick off. And we are going to be playing against the Washington National Football Team. A lot of players in motion. It's a lot of players in motion uh, amounting to nothing. <laughs> there they go again. They're all about having these guys run around. Smith trying to get his way onto the NFL leaders in sack list. Good luck. That may sound sarcastic, but I really do hope him. I hope him good luck. Did you know that I talk the best? I hope him good luck. Well, good. We already got Washington to punt. I wonder where this game is meant to be. I really have not been able to figure out how the uh, how the game is trying to signify which team is supposed to be home and which team is away on the schedule. So, been having to guess half the time based on uh, what jerseys look like. Of course, these two teams have palettes that uh, are distinct enough that uh, they don't need, like, you're not going to have one of them in their whites because that looks, you know, that's the one way to distinguish them. It's not like when the Bills play the Giants or, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of another good example of red, white, and blue team seems to be the most common. There we go, kick our Will Gardner. You know, you guys could help him. Isn't there usually a... Oh, it's an NFL stadium at NFL, NFL. Oh, yeah. There is a logo in the middle, generally speaking, to denote whether or not this is Rich Stadium slash now Ralph Wilson Stadium or RFK Stadium slash still RFK Stadium, but only DC United plays there anymore. Oh, crud! Not only is Thurman Thomas injured, but he was temporarily turned into a white palette guy. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're going to have to put in Carwell Gardner. And uh, hope that... Uh, Hope that Thurman Thomas gets well soon, because we need our running game. We really need our running game. We need our running game to be on its game. I hope that Thurman Thomas's leg isn't really broken, too. I also hope that the Thurman Thomas in this game's leg isn't broken, either. Let's run Andre Reed out of bounds before anybody else gets injured. Let's show a little trust in Carwell Gardner. See whether or not uh, he can do anything with the ball. He is comparatively a little sluggish. But, uh... Yeah, he's not going to be able to outrun having the correct play call as Thurman Thomas sometimes can. Get over Keith Keller. Good. Run him in.
Yeah, if you run a guy out of bounds, they will still run after him and attempt to tackle him, but I don't believe that, uh... I don't believe that if they get run out of bounds... Hmm, sorry. Hiccups. I don't believe that if they get run out of bounds, uh, they will end up being injured. Like there's something in the code of the game. They're like, oh, well, if they ran out of bounds, clearly they're not going to be injured because they're going to, uh, you know, be safe. They're not actually getting hit. We don't have to program in a, uh, like, discipline of the players to actually stop attempting to murder whoever it is that has the ball. Alright, pick it up. Oh, we did! Touchback or 8 yard return. Get them 8 yards, that's right. Let's give Al Davis the ball. Let's see what he can do. Hey, Travis! Al's got a spring and a step. My, my memory of the early 90s is poor, as it turns out. No, it's Al Edmonds. Ugh. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Uh, hmm. That was a little shorter of a kick than I would like, but hopefully we can still stop before... Well, roughly at the 20. So we'll just pretend they went ahead and took a touchback. How's that? Yeah, that sounds about right. These guys scrambling all over the place. I'm not doing the best job of uh, calling what play that they actually have, but I'm doing a relatively good job of uh, short circuiting the plays that they actually are the the plays that they are running basically if you call the same play as you know if you if if I hit up an a and that they use the up and a button play for example the uh, binary run up top there uh then all of my guys will get stat boosts and sort of their O-line will crumble, and it will just be bad times for them. I'm not getting a lot of that. But I am still managing to, like, sort of slip my own character's way in there to, uh, sort of move things around. Whoever it is that I pick. Usually it's Cornelius Bennett, but, uh, yeah. Wow, I'm getting double hosts. Zerf and Travis the Unknown. Much appreciated, guys. I mean, Zerf must be getting some more uh, attention these days. I mean, he is a... Uh, he's an elite PUBG, like, warlord these days. Nice job, Davis! That's good to know. If I call that play, and uh, they get it, if I react quickly enough, we can still make that work. Let's throw this to BB, though. First down. Well, if that's so, I'm going to keep doing this until it uh, backfires. Okay. Nay's the least pro pub PUBG player been in a tournament. Yeah, well, I don't know. I've seen you, uh, I've seen you kill people. I mean, not like literally kill people. That would be weird. Hey, person that, uh, I know in the online community, I've seen you murder before. <laughs> I've been witness to a murder. In fact, I wrote this really great song with a sick drum fill in it about it. <laughs> First 
two out of the three of you are the first two dead. Well, somebody's got to be. I've been hit by, I've been struck by a smooth reserve hound. Have I ruined this play for all times? No. Have I ruined it for some amount of time? Potentially. Maybe. This isn't going as well as it could all of a sudden. My quarterback rating must be plummeting. Threw it across the field, which of course just leaves open the opportunity to uh, have uh, total non-stop blockage going on. Dang it again! But that time there literally was a guy, like centimeters away. That, uh, and I'm not even talking about centimeters on the game scale. I'm talking about like literally like. That guy was breathing down the necks of everybody. All right. Well, I don't know if I'm a uh, little update, guys. I don't know if I'm going to actually get to uh, MLB Power Pros tonight. Just letting you know, Bean is on her way home, which probably means I get another game in. But uh, doesn't really seem like it would be worthwhile to uh, swap over to anything else. Got another hour, maybe. Alright, they're trying to play a game of slow down here, which I understand, but uh, gotta try and make it not worth their while. Sure, just, just stop him. 2 1 0. Good. Perfect. My strategy went to uh, absolute fruition. I wanted him to spend a long time running the ball and then stop him just in time to have the clock run out. That was that was it. That was what I was about. It was all part of my plan, just like that clown's plan to fall on its ass for our entertainment. <sighs> so, yeah. Not a lot of running yards for the Buffalo Bills. Part of that is, of course, I decided that I would try and move us away from running uh, after what happened to Thurman Thomas. I may want to uh, integrate everything. I might want to integrate the uh, run game back in just a titch, though. Right. Oh, eight whole yards. Woo! -hoo. Let's see whether or not we can give Gardney, also known as Carwell Gardner, a chance to uh, achieve greatness. Nope, only gained a yard. He does not have the speed to make that play work, so we may have to. Uh, just remember to not have that one in our arsenal for a little while. Kenneth Davis does all right though; gets his first down. Let's see if we can get this to Keith and Keller. Yes. And he avoided at least one tackle. I'm appreciative of that. Oh, that play was a wash. A wash with greatness. I have a strange definition of greatness. Let's get the ball to Carwell Gardner. See what he can do. He can run a little. Nice. 
said that we couldn't really trust Carwell Gardner to make this play work, but he's only got to make up one yard. He can make up just about that much, and that's about it. Good to know. All right, everyone. Oh, no. Dang it. I deserve that for pressing the button one more time than I meant. And unfortunately, I believe that ruins Jim Kelly's pristine interception free season. So uh, that is going to make his QB rating tumble. I, uh, I had him for a second, but uh, he got some help, so... Cornelius Bennett was not able to take down their quarterback. There we go. Not a good way to. I've I've not found the uh, the magic formula for uh, how to get a kick return just right in this game. I really have not. All right, Andre Reed is wide open. Oh, I sort of meant to run out, but I guess if we're up two scores, they have not managed to get any points on the board this game. I should not be that disappointed. Carwell Gardner, can you make any of Thurman Thomas's signature run plays work for you? Not really. Only football game you've played is NFL Street. So yes, punting, bunting. There is no punting in street football. Crud. Oh, that is two turnovers that uh, I have managed to uh, bake up nice and crispy for the Washington National Football Team. Don't think we're going to manage to hold them scoreless after all. First down. But you never know. Might be absolutely flawless from here on out. And somehow also block their uh, kick. Let's, put Keith. Let's assume direct control of Keith Willis here. Nope. Touchdown. Touchdown. No stonewalling. Certainly to put some pressure on there, at least. Oh, yes. You know, I hadn't thought about stonewalling them, and then you mentioned I should stonewall them. Let's try a Hail Mary for fun. Certainly consumed a lot of time, which, uh, yeah, there you go, Washington just realized, oh, 
We don't have any of that to afford. Oh, once again, everyone covered. Shane, come back, Shane. On the bright side, I am making them burn through their timeouts, but I do not, not want to leave this a one-score game. I cannot abide a one-score game, especially at this point in the game. Get this to Andre Reed. First down. Red 24. Red 24. Alright. Let's try and once again have faith in our ground game. A little bit. I didn't actually mean to run it out there. But, hmm, it wasn't the worst thing to happen. Keep trying to stop the clock. What do they think this is? Oh, wow! Actually got some help from my blockers. Oh no, the clock is running out! Oh! There is no option to uh, take a knee, but uh, I will do the next best thing. I will call for a dive play on the 38-yard line. Ha-ha! In an action-packed, non-stop thrill ride game like Tecmo Super Bowl, attempting to burn down the clock is the ultimate dick move. But, protected our perfect season. Buffalo Bills, just barely triumphing over Washington. We, uh, we didn't, we didn't perform superbly there. Uh, we got a lot of passing yards in. Um, Nadre Reed managed to get a lot of uh, running yards in. Um, our completion, though, only a little over two-thirds, which isn't actually bad. Actually quite good, but we, got that, we threw that pick, which, again, just holding myself to a very high standard here, but uh, it's uh, just, not, just not happy to see that happening. <laughs> the state of you you are proud of your home state the district of Columbia yes no let's watch we understand what's happening here it's not the Seahawks that's right shaman your home football team is the Seattle Seahawks the team that we just faced is from well, and actually, at this point in time, was actually still playing in the District of Columbia. You could uh, take the blue or orange line metros out to Stadium Armory. Alright, Shaman, we get it. You're too cool for sports. Gotcha. I keep seeing this sports ball thing coming up again and again. I'm like, alright, alright, I get it. I mean, you're also probably too cool for the baseballs, but just because... Our MLB Power Pros teams are currently facing off against teams like the Cyber Brains of Think Tank University and the uh, the Champion Rings of Universe University or whatever. Doesn't mean that they won't eventually, once we have a whole team assembled, they won't uh, go into. Uh, They won't go into regular competition against, uh, you know, teams like uh, teams 
like the New York Yankees or the Boston Red Sox or the Miami Marlins or you got the Mariners up there in Seattle. I think they're part owned by Nintendo, if I remember right. The Mariners! <sighs> Let's just watch some numbers dance by. As we see the little uh, bunny rabbit logo, or mascot, that uh, Tecmo is using for a while there. I'm not really sure where it got to us from, but uh, it's there. Take a look at the NFL leaders, see whether or not uh, anybody's still singing the praises of Jim Kelly after that uh, performance last week. Now, he still has the highest QB rating. Perhaps I'm being too tough on old Jim Kelly. Speaking of which, he may be stove up right now. Thurman Thomas is still the NFL's leading scorer. We don't have the greatest number of receptions. What is the different the difference in number of receptions between Don Beebe and Andre Reed? Three on the season. Yeah, and we're gonna slip down the overall yardage uh, charts here until we come back. 30 point lead. I could see. I could see Muster managing to make that up. Five touchdowns in the next. I don't know. Depends on how long Thomas is out. If he comes back next week, then I will be ecstatic, but also, uh, you know, things won't be too bad. Let's take a look at our team data here. He is injured. But look at that running speed he's got. That running speed is nice. So is his maximum speed. His maximum speed is nice. How does that measure up to Kenneth Davis? Kenneth Davis is actually a faster runner, but does not have as fast a maximum speed for all that that ends up meaning. Carwell Gardner also has a very slow maximum speed compared. I'm guessing maximum speed is what we actually end up seeing when uh, the characters are you know breaking their stride it is weird running speed rushing power maximum speed like what do all of those mean exactly it's a little hard to say but Robert Thomas does not have great hitting power Carwell Gardner in that sense is a real power man 5000 his hitting power is Yeah, quarterbacks' maximum speeds tend to be pretty low. Jim Kelly's 13. Curious now, who was who was the best rushing quarterback of this era? Was it was it Warren Moon? His maximum speed is only 19, so. That would not lead me to believe that he was. Was it Randall Cunningham? Yes, they think that Randall Cunningham was a great running quarterback, which pretty well was. I mean, I knew to go check his stats out. Although that said, since we faced him in the Super Bowl so many times, 
what do they think that Steve Young had going for him? Maximum speed of 56. Steve Young is as fast as our backup running backs. That's pretty much where they've got Steve Young. Plus he has amazing, you know, passing stats. Ronnie Lott is not on this 49ers lineup. Good scramble that he never thought of him as a runner. Yeah, well, I mean, part of it is just that 49ers and Bills, I would argue that 49ers slightly more so, but still, Bills also compared to the rest of the NFL. Both OP teams in this game. Anyways gonna go ahead and cut it off here for YouTube and when we come back next time we are going to be facing off against the New England Patriots which is not as big a deal back then as it is now but uh, this is Bobo the Vulture I would like to thank you all very much for watching and I hope I will see you next time bye for now